Okay, hi. Welcome, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. I messed with the camera, so the angle's gonna be different. I've also changed around the mic placement, so I, it might sound weird. If it sounds weird or like not as good as normal, then I will put it back to the other place. I am drinking Alpro strawberry milk today. Vegan, of course, but I've been addicted to these, honestly. And we are back. We are back in the epilogue now. Arthur is no longer with us there are some things that i want to do i want to go back to the fort i want to go back to Rhodes braithwaite mansion to get the crest because i didn't get to do it as arthur i completely forgot i want to go back to the professor we're back with john though we're back with my lover my husband my boo okay let's read the journal so now I'm a farmhand until I lose my temper again, I guess, working at a place called Pronghorn Ranch. They seem to like me because I'm big and nasty and they surely ain't. And some local tough guys seem to know they ain't. Well, I guess Abigail can't have everything, but she won't be able to deny I've at least got a normal job. And that's what we wrote. Okay. So we obviously have the mission. We have my horse. Um, I think hey, lady. the first thing, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Okay, so I remember the house, this is where I want to get to. So I'm gonna fast travel to, is it the trading post? I think it's the trading post. Um, oh, uh, I also wanna go get some hair tonic cause I wanna grow out John's hair. I wanna give him the look that he had in chapter two. I'm gonna try and make it so I'm more open with how I dress him, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm annoyed that I didn't get to, I didn't do it and branch out as much with Arthur. So I'm gonna try and correct that with John. Plus he's my baby, I love him. I love Arthur, do not get me wrong. I love Arthur with all my heart. I think you could tell by me my reaction to the ending of chapter six. I truly grew to love Arthur so, so, so much. And it breaks my heart that he's not like here anymore. But I I don't know, I guess I'm more attracted to John. Um, it really makes me want to play Red Dead Redemption 1. I, he's just so fine. It's just like, my Twitter is now just me thirsting over him, basically. But, oh god, it's been, it's weird going back here. It is weird. Okay, the waypoint's still set. You discovered the location of the legendary fish. Someone living near Flat Iron Lake is known for their interest in fish. Is that Hamish? I think we can also do the Hamish mission now, right? So we'll give that a go when we can. I'm so excited. This goddamn house, Marky. I think we also have something at the post office that we can get. Okay, so it said first floor. One of the windows is open. That window's open. How do I how do I get up there though? Can I jump on here? Can I jump on here? Oh. John, come on. He, he acts or like runs differently to Arthur, which I like. Please, please. I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get this trap off of me. Please. Is this the same guy that Arthur rescued? It is, right? I could feel it getting looser. Oh, oh. Oh God! Oh, oh, you did it! Oh, Wait, do we have honor as John? Oh my! Oh, I, uh, I, I gotta get that breaks spray. my heart. <laughs> See oh, that low? Oh, 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 Mister, you! I thought I was gonna be all oh, go. It is. Oh, it is the same oh, guy. It's gonna be a god. Oh, you! You can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. I'll take some ammo. I wish he would say something like, oh god, can't be doing this again. Because we did save him. I saw that. I know I did because I got a free gun out of her. Okay, let's get back to the house. So I'm pretty sure this is actually the way you get in. <laughs> so 
Sorry, what? I'm sorry, what the hell is this? That's actually disgusting. What? <sighs> August 13th, the creature is ready. Parts are currently on ice. Prep for a surgery any day now. Immensia creature. God, no wonder Micah chose this place to me. Boar. Human. It was half human? Oh my, oh my, I don't want you being close to that, John. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's another note here. Bear heart, 22 ounces. What the hell is this place? Who did this? Was it the same professor? Vulture wing, vulture, Spider-Man. 2.5 ounces. Oh, I'll take the snake oil, thanks. Thanks, babes. Appreciate that. I'll take it all. Can we explore the rest of the house? Do I want to? Nice, locked, okay. Uh, I think I got everything from here. That was horrifying. Whoever made me go look at that? Did you just want to scar me or something? Ooh, take. Take. Okay. I think that's it. I've looked at everything. I can't enter the rest of the house. So, that's one thing that I wanted to do. Thank you, honestly, though, for whoever said to do that. It was horrifying, but I'm glad I had a look at it. Next on my plan is to... Should we go to Rhodes next, then? I think. Oh my, he's so fun. He really is. I don't know what it is about him. I feel like I would call him Wolf Boy if I was a part of the gang. I'd be like, Wolf Boy, and he'd get annoyed at me. He would in get insanely annoyed at me. And I would bathe in his frustration, basically. That water looks weird, so I'm not gonna lie. That looks sus. Oh my god. Wait, does Arthur have a grave? Can we go visit Arthur's grave? Okay, firstly, I want to go to the store because I want to get hair tonics because I'm going to grow out his hair. That's my plan. John Marston? I don't believe it! I thought you were dead. Pearson, what are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah! Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> so what can I get for you today, sir? Um, I can't do anything. We can sell him things. Good. Working on a ranch right now. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> but I'm trying. Oh my god. He looks happier. We have a stranger. Um, okay. Well, I can't get the hair torn out. Annoying, right? I don't think there's a barber here either. So. Oh wait, no, that's not my. That's not my horse. I, I thought that I thought that was my horse. Come along with me. Nice and easy. 
Didn't want to be looking over your shoulder anymore, huh? I thought that was my horse. And I'm no, I'm stupid. I just saw a horse and I was like, oh, that's mine, I guess. Clearly it's not. Hey, John. Sorry. I need. I'll stop. I'll stop. He's just hot. Okay. You can't blame me. Look at him. Fine specimen of a man. Okay, so we have a. Do we serve the bounty? I don't know. I don't think so. Um. Okay. That was rude, though. So we need, oh, should we go do the stranger then? We're already here, might as well. Come on, move already. Oh, that's. Is that where we. Oh my god, was that where we went with Arthur and Hosea? Oh my god, Hosea. Oh my god, these guys! Has it restarted my mission with them? What are you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault! His fault to Darky White! Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him! Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you! Come on! And I'll tell you, you lily living- Enough! Enough! Say! You two fools look like you've just run off from the chain gang. Yeah, what up? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us it, all over town. And we can't go in Why is it redone this supplies. mission? <laughs> Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darky. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Well, do your goddamn favor. What do you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. Okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. If maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. That's nice weird. Fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up I again. Wonder... Just shut up. You shut up. I wonder why it's done that. Okay, I'm gonna try and remember the places that I got it as Arthur. I think John had different dialogue there as Arthur too, which is cool. Ah, oh, yeah, it's that guy again. Hey, I'm gonna need that poster off of you. Give it up. That ever worked before? Poster's mine, fellas. And so are these bounties. I have nothing. I need to try and catch up and then I don't know. Oh no, you Down, don't. Pal. Down. That's not what I wanna do though, get off. I need the poster. Sorry. Let's hope no one saw that. <laughs> okay. Now you wanna go. There was one in the stagecoach office too. This wasn't here before. Oh my god. Oh, there's one. What does it say? Because I never read it last time. It doesn't say. It just says that they're dangerous. That was... Ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. No, it's not one for gossip. Death don't mingle for gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're oh the Oh my god. Up. Yeah. Hey, uh, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by you. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? 
Okay, just no take... Oh my god. You whacked off my hat. How rude. Whoops. I'm taking a lack into killing you, boy. You ain't the law, you know. Curl that devil up. Can you? This, this what you wanted? Just for you. I'm blocking. Oh, you're a pain. You're as good as Barry, cocksucker. All right. Come on. Come. Is this guy invincible? That was on you. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. That was a bit much, I know. <laughs> Pick up your hat. Ah, I hate it. I don't remember where the other posters were now. Actually, was this not my hat? I thought this was my hat. No, it was my hat. I'm confused. Oh my god. Can he take me here on a date? Sorry, that's a bit much. This is crazy. To see how far like the town has progressed. Did I, I think I just, did I not just go around this way? I did just go around this way, right? I'm confused. Oh wait, yeah, there was one in here, wasn't there? You have unopened mail and we can get the mail too, great. Take this. Sir, good morning. Good morning. Can I not? Okay. You know, them's bad men. Sure. Welcome. Alden. Okay. Run up the tab now, have we? I have three dollars. What happened to Arthur's money? That's sad. Letter from Mayor's office, twenty-six days ago. In the office of Jean Marc Mercier, Mayor of Saint Saint-Denis, dear Mr. Kilgore, these are troubling times at City Hall with the resignation of Mayor. Oh, he resigned, Mayor Lemieux, but civic business continues. The new mayor has asked that you be formally commended for your recent services to the City of Saint-Denis. Please accept this token of gratitude of the Sister Missouri, along with a personal message from the mayor. This scandal will pass and we will be stronger than ever. Yours respectfully, the office of the mayor. I still remember that massacre of 99 like it was yesterday. Sends a shiver right through me. I'm sorry, I have right. no clue what you said nice. just then. No. I do beg your pardon. What? There's one more somewhere and I can't remember where it was. You need of transport, sir? No. Oh wait, it was here, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't remember where they said. Oh, there. Perfect timing. Hey, I want to get him some new outfits too. Hello. Though. I was in town. Pretty hot. It got quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. You killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Yeah, I'll bend. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, there. Okay. Now. I wonder if now that where is John we'll probably get more of those guys. Let's go down to Braithwich Manor. I wonder why, like, because we're at the ranch that we can't get anything. Is there something around there where we can buy things? 
God damn drunk horse. Couldn't pay no you okay? attention. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? <laughs> I guess. Thank you, sir. What do I do? <gasps> Whoops! I didn't. I I can put it back. Sorry. I just. I. I. Uh, okay. Can I go? Let's go, girl. Oh my god, this horse is a girl. Look at him. So handsome. Can't believe I took that pocket watch. There was someone about to see it. I had on her. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I don't know how long he wanted me to wait, so I just left. Where's... Oh, there it is. Wow, everything's, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know what I'm saying, sorry. Okay, so. Somewhere around here, I think. No, her body's gone. Don't know where it is. That's an eerie road. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see anything. Okay, so annoyingly, I can't find the comment telling me, but I did find um, the comment mentioning Mary's letter and that there's actually a picture attached to it. Goodbye letter from Mary, there we go. Photographs. Oh. Young Mary and Arthur. Arthur is a young and handsome man. Wow. Okay. Well, I can't find, annoyingly, I can't find where the um, room is. So you'll have to let me know again if it's still even there at this point. And I'll obviously, I'll go back and uh, get it. That was pretty. I like how it's all overgrown now, but I think it's a nice take to it. Cause obviously so much death and destruction took place there. And now it's being everyone with nature. And I don't know, there's just something really calming about that. Um, I think next we'll go to Saint Denis because apparently we should go look at the museum. Fast travel, Saint Denis. I finished my strawberry milk and now I'm sad. It's really good. Okay. We have a new journal entry. But if I go to the barber, can I buy it from the barber then? hair tonic to make his hair grow. And I can do something about that beard as well. I don't know, I like the beard on Arthur, but on John, I don't know. Just like the long hair and the no beard, I don't know what it was. Ma, <laughs> it was mighty fine. I I I'll tell you that for sure. This is just gonna be more the same. Well, please, Hi. take a seat. Oh. Got an idea of what you want? No, I don't want hair trimmed. Beard. How? Do, I don't know how he had it before. This is like my problem. No. 
That looks better. I feel like he had it like ah, that. Fix you. I don't know. Put the hat back on for now, because babes, you need it. Until you get that hair back. Please, tell your <laughs> friends about us. And then I'm gonna try going to the... Is there a shop here, actually? General store. And see if I can buy the hair tonic from there. I'm gonna leave them. I'm sorry, I... I go help. That's how a lawman solves a problem. Now that's what I call a good day's work. Uh, what the hell happened? Just let the law handle this. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna help if it would uh, increase my owner, but it didn't. Or. I didn't do it in time. Okay, wait, so if it's not gonna allow me to buy from the store, I'm gonna be mad. I just want a hair tonic to make his hair grow. Is that too much to ask? Hello there. Please have a look around. Got my cat okay. in the middle there. Fine. Where's the tailor? To be honest, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy anything from the tailor either. Um, I think I have to do... Have Dude, I didn't do anything. No, I wouldn't... <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. I don't... I know. St I didn't do anything. Stop it. What the hell? Where's my hat? Oh my god. Get up, get- John, get up. John. Oh my god, you're actually so dumb. That's enough out of you. Are they gonna follow me? Here you go. Oh my god, that- <laughs> Can you? Fine, fine. But you asked for this. You literally asked for it. Don't even say anything. Oh my god, John, stop. Looking for a fight? How? Come on. Guys, I don't want to do this. I'm going to go get my hat, actually. Because I like my hat. It's a very cute beret. I don't even actually think it's beret, but... Oh, there it is. Great. Can you guys stop? Okay. No, wait, you're not my horse. Where is it? Stop. <laughs> you got rid of my hat again. Where'd it go? Can you not? Oh, my God. Look, I'm gonna get done now for assault. John, babes, I don't think you're strong enough for this. Oh my god! Stop it! Oh. Get beat up. You gonna get your cock weakling? Oh my god, stop. Oh I oh for god's sake. Please say at least save me getting his beard trimmed. That's all I'm worrying about here. <laughs> I don't care that he just got himself killed. I mean, that was on him. 
Not my fault you can't fight. Arthur could do it and he was dying from tuberculosis. Mm-hmm. Okay, it saved it at least. Alright, let's try this again. I... Okay. I thought it put me in Anna's bug. I... I don't know. Right. Now. Where's the art gallery? Doctor... Photo studio... I'm trying to think of where I saw it. It's my... That's my hat. There we go. <laughs> I like the hat, it's actually really cute. I can't remember where the art gallery was. Also, remember when I donated us Arthur, what was it, like $20? And they were like, oh yeah, the plaque. Of course I, mean, I am. Anyone dumb enough to want it, <laughs> go right ahead. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing's what I do best. He's a pessimistic. What can I say? I don't blame him, though, for everything he's been through. I, I don't actually know what he's been through. I know that he... What was he? I think it was... I, was he put in an orphanage as a child? I think so. Sorry. Hello. Good to have you. Okay, I think I'm gonna actually have to, before I can do anything, go do that ranch quest. <laughs> nothing is coming up. Um... I don't know what the art gallery is, so... Okay, so that way is actually the, um, gallery. But... Where is it? Let me... I might have to get a waypoint, actually. Wait, no. Somewhere here. Is it here? Where am I? Hmm. No, this doesn't feel right. Where is it? There's someone here. Partner? This is the damn police job. Oh my right. god. Buddy. This mess. Get out of here. Get no, don't 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 do that. Don't call. You should just get lost. Don't come near. I literally just want to find the name with Arthur's. Hey, we're on. Are you joking? What's going on? Is there a party I wasn't invited to? That's enough now. Why don't you leave now before this gets any worse for you? It ain't a big deal. Can I not like? I don't think you understood me. I ain't saying it again. I'm sorry. I got confused. What? So I can just run off? I don't want to run off. I want to find Arthur's name. I mean, thanks for letting me free, but I'd really just rather, like, you take me in. Oh, my. One more step and it's your funeral. I've had enough. I don't understand. <laughs> Changed your mind real quick, didn't you, buddy? Okay. I don't know. I truly don't. I think if you surrender, you don't have to pay a bounty. Fair enough, I guess. Where is this art gallery then? Oh, here. Okay. I think it's him.
up here, right? I honestly don't think it's here. <laughs> oh, John, I have to get, oh God, no. John, this was not what I wanted. Oh my God. You are a menace. Oh, so I could get through with as Arthur, but not as John. This is driving me insane. Can anybody show me some kindness? Please, you, yes, please, coin, please, please. Do I have 25 cents to give you? I am so sorry. I don't have anything. Good morning, mister. I feel so bad. He made at me. Dude, I'm sorry. I got no money. I don't know what you want me to do. But I'm going insane. I mean, I definitely did give 20 as Arba. Was it no bill? Oh, is it? <gasps> Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. This hall was erected to honor and commemorate General Harris by the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall Committee with the support of the citizens of Sardinay. The committee gives thanks to the following donors for their generous contributions. Nicholas C. Conrad, Arthur Morgan, Henry M. Seymour, Willis Coleman, Clements Healy, D.W. Brown, Jackson Young, Marco Vincenzo Romano, Mr. and Mrs. J. L. Leckler. Patrick Daniels, Spencer W. Jones, Jean Pierre, Is that uh, Melania Sky, George Milton Cooper, Mr. and Mrs. Gibson, Abraham Siebert, is that the, the monk? Walter J. Hyde, Charles A. Juris, Joshua McBride, Ogen, P. Vaughn, Arthur Morgan. It's so weird because like now he'll always be a part of this. I'm so glad I did that. You're not gonna say anything, buddy? Not in at all? Okay, so I'm glad I saw that. That was one thing that I really didn't want to do. Sucks that Arthur can't see it for himself. But. What did I do? Thing. What? Oh no, I'm getting mad now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, the other thing I wanted to do was go to the gallery because apparently there's something cool to see there. Okay, I'm gonna try the art gallery one more time. This is it. I just can't find a way to like get up there. Why can't I get up there? That's not it. Oh wait, maybe it's upstairs. Please be upstairs. No. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to see this art gallery. Oh my god, John. Did that guy just disappear? No, he's there. Can't get in the doors. Anyway, we're back at the ranch. Uh, basically there are doors. I know the doors. Now, I found the doors. Um... What? <laughs> I found the doors to the gallery. They weren't open. I think I have to do this mission first and then that unlocks everything. I think that's basically what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what's happening here. It's put me into a cutscene. I just did a fast. I don't know what's going on. I truly don't. Okay. Where am I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Basically, I think this mission is blocking me from doing anything, so we have to go do this. No, no. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. 
No, it was nothing, sir. Hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. John. You work hard. Oh, you be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey. Hey. Get over here. Oh, Mr. no. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here, something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. He's on sure, to us. Mr. He's 100% on to us. So I'm just going to move the mic a bit closer. John. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Good morning, uh, sir. I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is oh, it that. true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my oh wife? Oh my god. Oh, uh, no, you sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. To be fair, I probably wouldn't have gotten the job if Jack, I Jack, when you're done in here, come on out didn't and live do that. Can they break up? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey, are gonna milk the cows? This isn't vegan. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I thought you was... Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellas. Oh. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. You're <laughs> southern, <laughs> though. You're from Texas, the rich right? Are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Yes, you are. Nothing like that. Yeah. Just a ranch hand, then. Just totally. A ranch hand. One hundred percent. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, Don, you just volunteered. Never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. so bad almost got a pail full oh my god <laughs> hey Paul uh -huh. that's your boy sure hey Lancelot well hey Lancelot hey 
We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. Fast enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Okay. Sure. Come on, son. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... <laughs> I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm hmm Oh, my... Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Why well, would you say his name? Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Oh my God, this is adorable. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. <laughs> I was Sorry, just sir. thinking of no. that. Be careful. Sorry. I was literally just thinking of the moment that um John and Jack were reunited. Oh. It splashes. <laughs> That is quite disgusting. I won't lie. I bet I was probably gonna get him to wash. <laughs> this is a dog's work. Well, I mean, maybe this is payback for getting attacked by wolves or something. I don't know. Maybe well, like you've just always been. Say we're almost done here. Wolfy. Finish things up. I'll go check on her. Okay. I hate this. I don't. I don't want to check. Sorry. I love Abigail. Do I love her with John? No. He's mine. Mine. Not yours. Mine. I know you're married to him. You you guys aren't even officially married though, so <laughs> he is mad for the taken. Hey. Hey. She looks so much like Mary though. Shoveling shit. Pursuit of the better life you want? Charlie. Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. Sorry. No, I don't like it. I don't like that. No, thank you. No, thank you. No. No. I'll put some coffee on. Push her out, okay. <laughs> Do they not have pillows? I mean, probably is the comfiest. He's dressed like Arthur. Oh my god. Okay. I need to get you money to go shopping with because we need some new clothes. Do you think I can buy things now? Now that I've done like the ranch work, do you think I can buy? <sighs> Fine, I went out more. I just want to buy some hair tonic to grow his hair. It's really. I don't think I have enough money to buy his hair tonic. Oh my god. No. Yeah. Uh, should we go to... I'll go to Valentine, actually. Because I know for sure that they do it in the salon. Sal What's it called? It's not a saloon. 
can't remember what it's called, um, but I know that they do it in like the shops there. Please say I can buy it now though, please. I'm begging you. It's filled with trash, but it's a restaurant. Hey there, sir. I haven't seen you in here before. <sighs> okay, I'm fine. I'm gonna sell stuff. Bait and tools, if you haven't noticed. Worms and crickets by the front door, and don't miss the scent blocker by the back window. Righty, let's see what you're selling. Oh, that's Mary's ring. I can't really sell that, can I? Fine. Oh my god, okay, fine. Wait, that said buy. I can buy stuff now. No, I can't. This is so annoying. I just want to buy him hair tonic. It's all I want. I just want his hair to grow. Okay. Go do the missions like they launch then. Fine. Don't appreciate it though. Say that for sure. No! Oh my god, I'm gonna go insane. Don't kick the horse. What are you doing? Please stop, John. Seriously. Right. Let's try this again. We'll go back to the ranch. We'll do the ranch mission. Then. Let's see then if we can, you know, go ahead and buy the hair tonic. It's all I want. Like, you can, you can keep the... the outfits. He has some... Okay ones. Just want the hair tonic. I just want his hair to grow. At least it's sunny here. <laughs> it kind of breaks my heart because when I first found out about Strawberry as Arthur, I was like, oh my god, I would love to live in a town for Strawberry. And that's why I like started crying even harder when John was like, last part, oh, you know, let's try Strawberry. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna sell. So there's David. I honestly think that they're both the ranch, but we'll go do Tom's one first. See, I don't want to rush through this, but I just really want the hair tonic. And I can't buy the hair tonic until I've done these missions. I don't want to rush these missions, but I just want the hair tonic. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Sure. <laughs> you know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow. I did think so shoveling much. shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I was on the run. I told you. I killed a guy Life for looking got at got cheated me. out of inheritance. Actually. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. But I guess I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> I was raised to take a man at his word. Oh I also don't believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. I mean, he's devoted. You gotta give him that. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. We're like a lumberjack. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. That doesn't look in place, but I will take your word for it. <laughs> Good. Fine. Oh. OK. 
Okay. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Pick up. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. This actually reminds me a lot of chapter one. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the introduction or like holding your hand whilst you're playing it. That's what it feels like though. I nearly did that wrong. Put that fence down and get over here, oh, sorry. What? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> John. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm running around in circles. John, stop it. Okay. I don't know what was going on there. Come on, son. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, my. Okay. I'll get him. Get a rope on him, Milton. And try and calm him down. You alright? Shoot! Shoot! Ay, ay, ay. John, get up. I don't know what to do here. Okay, I can't get my horse, so. Jesus, don't so run at me again, please. Oh, come on! Oh my god. What have I done to you? Like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. Whoa there, whoa there, easy, easy. You got a temper on you. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. There, 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 there. All better. Okay. He does have a pretty common point. Now come on, you hunk of Chuck. Relax, my friend. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. He's like, I'm not cut out for this life. I do not want this. Please save me. Abigail, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go back to the old ways. The killing. How many times do you have to show me this? <laughs> hey. I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? You stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm not gonna Place lie, I wanted her to cheat on John. Okay, Pa. <laughs> See you later. I feel bad. Jack's kind of like by himself. K. 
Can I buy stuff now? That's what I want to know. That's all I care about. Can I buy stuff? Please. I'm wondering actually. Is there... What's that? Okay. That's that. Emerald Ranch. There's a fence. But I don't think there's a shop. Okay. Right. I need to think about this. Let me run off into the wind. And I'm going to... I'm going to go to Emerald Ranch and I'm going to sell... Catherine Braithwaite's brooch because that will give me money and then I will go and try and buy a hair tonic I just want his hair to grow <laughs> this is painful I just want his hair to grow we haven't been to Emerald Ranch in a while actually though oh my god a is that... Is that Arthur's grave? That was definitely a grave. Is that Arthur's? Whose grave is that? Oh my, oh my god, do you remember when... Was it Hosea? Hosea killed the dog. That's so fresh in my memory. I'm just gonna say that. New to these parts, mister? I still can't. Oh. oh my god, no, I'm not gonna sell that. I don't wanna sell anything that was given Hello, to Arthur. You're new. I still can't sell stuff. Great. That's that's just or buy stuff, I mean. That's annoying. That was a stranger. I don't know where they went, but I saw one. Where were they? Okay, I don't know where they went. I don't know where that grave was either. I wish it would, like, show you the graves. Oh my god, this horse's name is Rachel. How cute. Let's go back to the ranch again, because I can't buy anything. I can't buy my hair tonics. That's all I want. Literally, all I want is the hair tonics. Is that really so much to ask. Okay. The thing is, I thought that would have like been it because it came up with like, the missions finished. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm still a farmer. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Okay. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. It's, it's you showed up. Runaway horse has been to some of our problems, and I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. <laughs> oh, heck. Who would have hey, thought? Maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. What's up with the boss, then? 
Oh my god. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Oh, hey, easy now. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. You sure about that, <laughs> sure babes? About that? Okay, <laughs> yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Hey, now. Okay, Jeremiah. John and I are just like on the same wavelength. Yeah, like... boy. Relax. Come on. You're like the Easy same boy. horse again. Oh, someone put some money. I've never on seen a copy of this horse boy. before John's part. Calm down. Relax, you. I know because Ain't the sure white going back down yes, like the nose. I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. If you care more about a horse okay. than your mother? Wow. Easy. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, man. Okay. The plea to calm him enough. Okay. Everything you got. Come on. I'm quite good at this. <laughs> Though he does seem to have a lot of stamina. I'm gonna yeah, lie. Boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Oh my gosh. Running through the field. You got some energy? Show me this. No, we, we want to tie him out, John. Don't kill him. All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. Okay, wait, where's he's around here? All right. Who's oh, he's there. For you? Okay, get on up there and go nice and slow. <laughs> Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. <laughs> the heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, They'll come here and they'll- hey, Easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but- But- Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? Huh. I thought you were gonna help me. I'm so sorry, I ma'am. Am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. <laughs> it's over here. In here. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Girl, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. 
It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh my god. <laughs> I think she's well we're not out of the woods but I think she may be okay great we'll make a proper hand of you yet mr. Milton I hope so thank you oh and mr. Milton feel free to make a call at the house sometime perhaps even now a drink to toast our new arrival <laughs> I'd like that but my wife is expecting me back oh you're married she was trying to I get with me. I don't blame hands. you. Because, yeah. like, we, it's me. We have a boy. It's John. You've seen I mean. him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. I don't blame her, but, like, he's taken by Abigail and then he's taken by me. Or he's taken by me, then by Abigail. Because I'm first, obviously. Abigail second, I mean, John admitted himself, he doesn't even love her at the moment. It, I feel like I'm being way too harsh on her. I love Abigail, I do. I just love John more. Oh, hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through mm. us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please. For me. For him. How's he been? Guys, you're talking in the same room as him. <laughs> been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. I don't know if Jack wants this life. I don't know. I know it was a baby, but he seemed happier at camp. Mind you, is anyone a left for a camp to go back to? No, but besides the point. Round to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. I do we'll think this is ride. more Abigail's stream. Mr. Getty's more than anyone too. else's. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? <laughs> no. Jack. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. I mean, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. You've got this. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Speed up a mic. Okay. Oh. Whoa. This is nice. I don't know what stream he was talking about though, because I can't see one. Even faster, come on. Faster? Is that that stream? You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. 
amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Whoa. Here we are. Yep. We should get back. Oh. oh. You think you're ready for a little race? Idiot. I guess. Jack. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay, on my go. Go! <laughs> I want to let him win, but like, I also want to win myself. Hey, come back here! You'll have to catch me! Oh my god, he's actually really fast. Jack, I just taught you. What the hell? <laughs> Jack to win. I could easily be him. But I want him to win. Would John do that? Probably not, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, I want to tease him. Son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need. Hello, <laughs> man. Oh no. Does he like dead bodies? <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one boy. we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with with vermin. <laughs> oh, listen to this. Real funny. John. <laughs> no! John, why are you doing this to me? I'll kick his head in, boss. Knocked my hat off. How rude. It's like that, huh? Oh, boy. When was the last time you had a bath? Oh, he's licking you, boss. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right call. Jim, Jim, get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> what you do? You did not just say that about John. Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. 
pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Great. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. I mean, he really didn't help you out. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they were clearly not nice people. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Okay, this has grown, but I think it's just his beard. I don't know. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You, Mister. Right, Hi. Smile. Okay there. Smile. Do not embarrass me. You know what's happened in the news? Hail of fine now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there for today. I think it's near enough two hours, but that's raw footage. It will get condensed a lot because a lot of it was me just being a mess. I'm gonna leave that there though. This is different, obviously, to what I would imagined it to be. I just, I, I think my only like annoyance, I like it. I actually do like it. I like the calming pace, especially with what happened in chapter six. I just really want to be able to buy stuff and it's annoying that I can't because I just want the hair tonic. But we'll get that eventually. Abigail, I don't know what to say about her really. I love her, but she's also with my man and you know, I don't appreciate that, but mm. But I do think this is more her life than anyone else's. I don't think John wants his life. I think he's lost, he doesn't know what to do. Jack, I don't really know about Jack. I don't think I've had enough time with Jack in order to be able to establish who he is as a person or a character, I guess. I don't know how he's viewing this. He's obviously not happy whether the reason for that, I don't know. I truly don't, but I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, bye.